After our great victories over those goblin leaders, Edrahil and his party are going to help out Lazel. She did join him first, and she's been wanting to find the crash. We'll do it now, then later we'll go find Nightsong to move to the Underdark. We'll talk to Shadowheart in just a bit. And for our party at the moment, we're going to have Lazel, Shadowheart, and over here, Asterion. We may bring in Gale at some point. Some magic could do us some good. And if we need more muscle, well, Karlak is always here. But for right now, Edrahel's going to bed. He needs a good rest, I think. A bad dream, maybe. Who are you? I came just in time. You are transforming. You were there in the very beginning then. Well, we need to ask a question here. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. I've got to think back to it. There it is. That explains a lot. I was wondering and what that I'm was. Here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. I'm gonna get up on my own right now. Edrahil doesn't need any aid. Not from her, anyway. Independent? Good. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Now what's over here? Some type of astral battle, it seems like. Edrahil isn't about using the worm. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Oh, great. We've got enough issues right now. Now I've got some more factors to consider. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. We do have some slightly different armor. I like how Shadowheart and also Edrahil shared one night but they're already matching. Adorable. Now, let's have a look over here. I did tweak my build for Edrahil. Now he's got a new one called Athlete. Standing up? When you are prone, standing up uses only 5 feet of your movement speed, which is okay. But here's really the important part. We're able to jump up to 43 feet away. That's incredible. We're going to be able to just leap over a fence. We could jump towards our enemies. Whatever we need to do, we'll be able to do it. And over here, for Asterion, he's no longer an assassin. Instead, I've made him a thief. Only because I wanted one additional bonus action. And, as a sign of friendship, Edrahil gave his hand crossbows to him. So, we're going to see how that plays out. It should go pretty well. I mean, Asterion's done so much for us. And after that, I haven't really tweaked anyone else at the moment. We've got our Polar Master and Lazel, and so on and so on. Let's have a look at the map real quick. We're not too far from our target, are we? Well, 
I'm actually not sure. A flaming fist helmet over here. Well, there's no body, nor any more blood outside of what we're able to see. Maybe they were retreating. All right, let's get a move on. We'll take our time. We'll scout around. Oh, hold on. I could use tears protection. It comes from my sword, which is really nice. Now we have 20 AC. Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Absolutely. Tirsu script, you said. Tell me, what does it mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Fascinating. Now, how do I know I can trust your people? You don't have to trust them. Only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. She's a good friend. All right, come. Let's get to the crash. Very well. You may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Understood. Those are your people. Now, hold on. Here's a pathway. I remember there is a road and a pass from the goblin camp that led over here. This could be it, I suppose. I mean... It is all the telltale signs of goblins being here. Edrahill would know. Two dead civilians. There it is. We're not going back over there, and trust me, every single goblin is dead. Edrahill had to make a pass through to ensure that. It was only a bit of rabble. Now let's keep on moving. We've yet to find anyone. There's a sigil in case we need to get back here quickly, a good sign. Now what's over here? A plaque. Let's check it out. I think I know who you are. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. No, thank you. I won't be doing that. Now, hold on. There's someone to our right. I warn you. I'm exceptionally well off. I already like her. Let's have a conversation. Lady Esther, okay. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Yeah, sure, I do. Now, what you're describing is pretty much our every day. It looks like a temple. Oh... It certainly looks that way, but inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards, but stupid, Kchucky. Your charming companion would call it a crash, but it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. Wait, hold on. You tried to buy one of their children? What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The Society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Now hold on. I did play a gnome wizard, and he did fly. Anyway, here's a paladin response. 
With a pure will and great courage, anyone can rise above their nature. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help then, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. <laughs> and once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. Now, if we got an egg by chance or whatever, that's fine. However, what Edrahill believes doesn't overlap. What he says is true. However, he's not going to take someone's egg, someone's child. I don't want payment. I'm not in. I'm not getting involved, for one. We do want her to trade with us. We've got money, and she has gear. Gear that I want. Pity. You'd have become rather rich had you the proper sense. Should you change your mind, you know where to find me. The only item that I'm really going to use from her right now is right over here. You gain a lot too. Nimble as a cat. You gain a plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws and also increase your jump distance by five feet. Let's see, you gain cat's grace. What do you do? Has advantage on dexterity checks and only takes half damage from falling and increases your dexterity score by two to a max of 20. That's incredibly good. So we're gonna lose one point of AC, but that's okay. We get a lot of benefits. A higher chance to hit. More damage? I love it. Six to nine versus what? Five to eight. Much better in my view. So we've got that. And he's one happy fellow. Then I bought a few potions. Dies too. We'll probably... Let's see. We're not going to go to the monastery yet over here. We'll move over to the left. There's another pathway. I wonder what we're going to fight over here. I actually have no idea. Which is a lot of fun for me. It's going to be a challenge, I think. Wait, hold on. Looks like a trap. Though. Traps, okay. I wish I could disarm them and bring them with me. That would be a lot of fun to use traps like that. Trap. Whoa! Someone doesn't like visitors. No kidding. We need to get rid of it. All right. We'll add guidance. Total bonus: thirteen to sixteen. A DC of only ten, and we have advantage. A staring is very good. We've got a twenty-five here. Unless he rolls a nat one, he'll probably always pass. It would have to be really, really hard. And hold on, what's over here? Oh, I don't like that. You're called a Death Shepherd. 16 AC. You've got 42 hit points in addition to 20 temporary hit points. Undead Ward Aura. Allied undead within 30 feet are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. Yeah, they only take half the amount of damage. Oh, that's really bad. Necrotic Veil. That gives you your hit points. Not only that, you're resistant to all damage except radiant damage and cannot be turned. All right. I've got an idea. We're just going to wait over here real quick for one. Way back over here. We'll all divide up. Actually, hold on. All of you sneak first. Then divide up. Edrahill, move back just a little bit. We're going to make what I like to call a spirit bomb. All right. Shadowheart. It'll be on you now. Don't begin combat. Be cautious. Wait over here. Shadowheart, you've got time. Move up. We need to watch out for traps, of course. Ooh, please don't hit one. All right. So now, it's very simple. We'll come over here. We want to hit a lot of undead. We'll use turn undead. Not yet. Let's wait a moment. We've got time. They'll come back. Don't worry about it. I want to hurt them a lot. And let's begin. There it is. So we hit what? Three ghouls? And they've also been surprised. That's even better. Let's have a look at turn undead. All right. So over here, it'll last for what? Three turns. Good. The affected entity must move away from the creature that turned it. It can't take actions, bonus actions, or reactions other than dash or try to escape an effect that prevents movement. 
ends upon taking damage. Look at what she's done. What a great weapon. So now, we're gonna use our spiritual weapon. We're gonna bring out our great sword. We'll come over here. We've gotta take out these two. They're gonna be here. <laughs> oh, well, a huge pain, really. We'll move her over. All right, really? Asterion, I want you to move up too, but I'm a bit worried about running into another. <laughs> yeah, Someone's that. Left to trap out for us. All right, hold on. You should be able to hide. You're very good at it. Good. Come over here real quick. Ah, he's in combat now. That's okay. I was trying to get a little bit closer because we really only have, what, one ghoul to go after. Can I hit? Oh, a very low chance to hit for sure. Right. Let's go after instead. No, not you. It'll have to be a standard ranged attack. Oh, your pathway is interrupted. All right. Let's move up a little bit more. That's fine. See, I've got to be careful here. It's going to be a tough battle. Go hit that one ghoul. Try to. Good. 10, Again. 11 damage. Only one HP left. All right. Here's our offhand attack. High chance to hit. 10 damage. It's gone. Even better. So now we've only got to worry about a ghast. Oh, boy. Level 6, too. You're all done for now. All right. Asterion, you get to wait here for the moment. Lazelle, it's going to be your turn. I don't like where you're at. We could use a Misty Step to pop right on over. We'll do that then, just because I want her right over here right away. Perfect. All right. She's in combat. We've got a few options, I suppose. And what we're going to do right now, we're just going to use a standard attack, a trip attack for fun. Yeah. Knock that enemy prone. Try to. Eight damage. We'll do it again. Wait, hold on. Trip attack. There we go. Knocked prone. Seven damage. All right. Action surge because we need to keep on moving. We'll keep on using our die. We'll go pretty hard here. These enemies appear to be very, very challenging. Another trip attack. Seven damage. Not quite there, but that's okay. Lizelle will move over to the right of Shadowheart. She's done now. Edrahill, it's your turn. Off. We'll get him a little bit closer. Then I want him to use a Divine Smite. That would be a lot of fun. Use a Misty Step right over here. Look at that. They don't know he's here. <laughs> All right. Divine Smite time. We'll go after that one. It's close by. Radiant damage. Let's go. 19 damage. That's really, really good. All right. He's going to wait over here real quick. And right now, we're going to end turn. It took me a moment to figure things out, but I feel like we're good to go now. Asterion, move away. You've been turned. And also, surprise too. Okay, Edrahill. What do you have over here? A Hunter's Mark? A Pommel Strike for fun. You could use another Misty Step. But for now, let's keep it simple, okay? I think I want you to use your Vow on that target. It's a tough one. He's going to have advantage. All right, end your turn. Spiritual Weapon. You'll strike two. Go on. 10 damage. A great hit. Yeah, we had a series of very bad rolls. And right now, that gas is dashing in. Using stench. Your stink won't get on me. All right. Back over, of course, to Shadowheart. Now, she's also not done. We're going to use Spirit Guardians. I told you, we're going hard. Here's some more radiant damage. Enjoy. Oh, they'll love it, really. 14 damage, 9 damage. That's all really, really good. And after that, we don't need to patch anyone up. Instead, we'll use our ensnaring strike, or we could move a little bit to the right. Perfect. Okay, a little bit over here. Got him. 12 damage on that ghast. Next, let's see. Ensnaring strike. Try it out. Have some fun. Give it a go. Ensnared. One damage. She's done now. Okay, Asterion. Your turn. We could... Well... Hiding might be a bit difficult, but you've got your sneak attack. Give it a go. Only 9 HP left. You nailed it. You immediately nailed it. Awesome. 
Okay, next, an offhand ranged attack. Let's go after the other shepherd. 11 damage. Attack again. You know what to do. 9 damage. We'll move him over to the left, and what a pose. <laughs> oh boy, how embarrassing for you. Your other bony friends are going to laugh at you. The bony bros. All right, you're done now, Asterion. Lazel, you've got, let's see, the capability to trip someone, right? Advantage two. Knocked prone again. Awesome. So next, we'll use our bonus action. Whole arm clout. 14 HP left. Three damage. A standard attack right away. Again. A miss, unfortunately, but hey, we've done pretty well. Let's move a little bit over here. I want Lazel to block any enemy from Asterion. All right, turns are now over. That one ghoul is moving away. The shepherd took two damage. Back over to Edrahill. All right, divine smite. Today we are smiting away. 19 damage. Are we done? Naturally, we're not done. Your BO won't stop him, I hope. Wow. 32 damage. We're doing it today. Pommel strike. Get a concussion. Two damage and also dazed. Oh boy. I hope we're not using up all of our good rolls right now. Spiritual weapon took out that gas. So now we only have ghouls. Ghouls who are trying to get away, right? We'll end our turn. Back over to us. Well, you know what to do. You've got two over here. Misty step. Let's make it easy. Or actually, hold on. You could just jump over there. That would work out too. Yeah, jump right by those two. We'll kill a couple of ghouls. Melt it away just by her presence. Well, go on, Shadowheart. Hill looks over and he's like... <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a big, big fan. A Sacred Flame on the other ghoul. We need a bit more movement, which we do not have. Which, you know, I think we've done enough over here. Alright. Only one more to go. Yes. Asterion, come over here. It'll be alright. So what you'll do, you're going to use, let's see, Cunning Action Hide. No one bonus action gone. A Sneak Attack, ranged. Only 10 HP left. A miss, unfortunately. Attack again. 21 damage. It's over. We've beaten them all. So now, let's have a look over here. My spirit bomb. It did work out. A dead zealot. Okay. You belong to the absolute. Duke Raven Guard is to be delivered. Unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Oh boy. Grand Duke Ravenguard. Seems Moonrise Towers has acquired a high value asset. No kidding. All right, we're gonna loot what we can. I'll come back later, put it all in a crate, send it home, make some more gold. Now that's how I make a lot of gold all the time. Ooh, a mud method wing. We need that. What else do we have over here? A few more bodies, I'm sure. Two dead squirrels, tragic. Let's see, a young Githyanki who died. Honeyed ham, silver, and arrow of acid. Well, that poor kiddo. Alright, the undead, they don't have much right now. What about you? You've got a potion of invisibility. You didn't use it in time. Well, that's really good. We need that. We definitely need that. It could save a life or two. Alright, here's another youth. They might have some decent stuff. Like pork! And a potion of healing. But of course, we took no damage. That's only because of planning. We just have to plan a lot. All right, we'll get everyone together. Let's have a look over here. Ah, plate armor. 18 armor class. Well, I'm going to take that real quick. I think I might wear it, yeah. All right, I'll have to go back home to diet, but... That isn't so bad, I think. I wonder if we could find more. I bet there's more here. I'll search for it in a bit, but for now, let's move on. Let's see what's down over here. Another plaque. Man, that was a great battle. Walk in the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. Oh, the Shadowlands. 
there's some old guy over here. Let's go talk to him real quick. Vile little parasites. Given your own nature. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if, perchance, you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? It's Elminster, okay. May I inquire who is inquiring? Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, then I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but settle on your knowledge of the individual I seek. You're looking for Gel? Really? Okay. I do know Gel, yes. He's in our camp at the moment. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? No, not right now. We're actually quite busy. We'll meet him there later on. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding our camp without my assistance. I'll see you there later. Though I'd have welcomed the voice other than my own to entertain me along my weary way, I shall take your answer in stride, and with it, take my leave as well. Adieu. Okay, Gal has a lot of explaining to do. Look at all the dead creatures over here. How grim. Yeah, we're not gonna go over there. Not right now, we don't need to. We're here to find a crash. And also, they killed every monk at that monastery. I don't like that. And as a brief aside, it feels so good as a paladin to finally crush a bit of undead. It just feels right. Yeah, we'll go back to where we were. There's a bridge also leading over there. Can't go there. Broken. Need to find another way. Yeah, no kidding. Of course, I'm also able to jump. And I mean very, very far. Wait, hold on. That one goal. Don't raise your hand. It's too late now. All questions have been answered. Our new armor is a bit ostentatious, but we'll use it. An AC of 19. That's really good. Yeah, I did notice later that... That one body I looked at had more armor, which is great for us. Now, we've got to clean up a little bit, I think. Yeah, I've got some blood on me. Throw it down. Perfect. The blood's all gone. I'm all clean. All right, let's get a move on. The temple or the monastery is up over here. And what a beautiful sight, by the way. <sighs> this view's almost worth the walk. Yeah, almost. It's a pretty long walk. And what do we have over here? A sign. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. I hope so. We've got a cable car wheel. Okay. It looks old, really old. That's not going to work. A DC of 15. Very few bonuses too, only guidance. Plus four from our strength. We made it, 18. Phew. Close one. Oh, that was tough. This can't have been used in a while. No kidding. Oh, I wouldn't want to ride on that. But if we failed, then what? Oh, there's another pathway down over here. That's good to know. There should always be another pathway forward. All right, let's go. Now we get to go again. Shadowheart, please be careful. You're on the very edge. Terrifying. She likes to play a very dangerous game, I suppose. Not me. I like to play it safe. I'm kidding. What I'm doing right now isn't safe. We could take a left first. Sure. But I really do want to head to the monastery. It's massive. We'll probably be here for a bit, but what's over here? Ooh, a greater elixir of arcane cultivation. A potion of greater healing. Nice. And we've got a few notes from pilgrims. 
One's a curse. <laughs> so one didn't get what they wanted. All right, let's go down and around. We also need to talk to Shadowheart at least briefly. We did have an encounter. That's true. Yeah, they should have a conversation real quick. All's well, I hope. Of course. Unless something is the matter. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked and kissed. That did happen. Edger Hill's going to be rather blunt here. Oh, look at Lazel. Staring needles into the back of his head right now. That night meant a lot to me. And I hope there's more to come. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Alright then. We could have a much deeper conversation just talking about everything. Let's go on. You and I, we share something special, I think. I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. Sure. How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a Dark Justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Well, that's really kind of her. All right. Let's go for right now. We'll talk more later. We're quite busy at the moment. I, go. I wonder what type of trouble we're going to find over here. There's always trouble to be found. So we've got a sigil. That would allow us to, of course, get back here quickly. That's handy. I'm going to focus on the Koresh for right now. Then we'll explore everything there is to offer here. Especially because there could be some manner of holy relic. And that's what we want for sure. I'll get it. A monastery to Lathander. Bound to have something good, I think. Oh, individuals over here. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now. The captain is expecting you. Now that was really grim. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Now how would they treat us? Maybe not much better. We should be mindful. Lizel wants to have faith in her so people. The Yankee aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Yeah, maybe. But again, they might not try to cure us, or maybe they're curious to kill us. We've got monastery doors over here that are enchanted. I won't try to open it. I doubt I could do anything about that. So instead, is there another way inside? There's always another way inside. Ah, the thunder. Trampler of the undead. Literally so. Ah, here we go. Right over here. That works out. So we'll go around instead. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to have quite a few issues here. I know, I should do my long rest. After one more combat engagement, maybe then I'll finally do it. An easy place to jump over. But for Bedra Hill, everything is easy to jump over. Well, hello, I'll take that. Elixir of Vigilance. Very handy. Let's keep on moving for right now. Alright, so <laughs> another area to jump over. There it is. I do hope my boots are comfy. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Could you not stand that was so quick. blatantly in my neck when you say that? Alright, let's wait for all of them right now. Do keep calling her flower. She'll love that. Lizel, Shadowheart, will you two ever get along? <laughs> I doubt it, but one half elf can hope, I suppose. Alright, so we're over here now. Oh, here's a way in. More rubble. 
and a bust. Stand your ground! Keep them busy! The Thunder, forgive me. We have to fire the lance. That was grim. Talking statues are never a good sign. Let's try again. The statue speaks. All right. Maybe Shadowheart. Past, no less. A magic mouth spell. But whoever voiced it is probably long dead. Yeah, no kidding. Never wanted the What an path. old area. Let's see. Ah, here we go. A barricade. Don't worry, I'll take it down. Easy enough. Okay, we'll move through. That might be worth a look. <laughs> too late. I found it. I mean, it was pretty obvious too. Let's go inside real quick. So in the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Oh, really? Now, strange. Don't like Your that. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. While I don't trust in her people. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. I am going to trust in Lazelle. Maybe we could help her learn about her people. She wants to believe, which I do understand. What's over here? Holy blood of Lathander. The blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster immortalized here for all to worship so they kept the blood of lathander here no wonder it was looted no kidding we're gonna have to pick that up eventually but we'll do that later on otherwise i'll get distracted and get nothing done in time here's a basement that's where we need to go the crash is down here we're finally here there's a lot of guards here. We'll have to be mindful about what we say and do, but we can't appear weak. Don't it wouldn't end step. well for us, I would imagine. Sentries to arms! Istic, state your purpose quickly. Stand down, Gish. Is it not Vlacketh's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? Let me pass. Fighting me will end badly for you. We'll try that one. We'll add our bonuses, guidance, and friends. A DC of 18, which is incredibly high. Let's try it out. 18, we just made it. The sentry considers you for a moment, assessing the risk you pose. Very well. Perhaps Inquisitor Wawargaz could use the aid of an adventurer. Seek the Inquisitor within. Step lightly, Istik. He's not known for his lenience. I believe you. I really, really do. Now, wait, what's over here in that room? Wait, Ulika, or Elika, whatever your name was. We met her once, whenever we first found that Githyanki patrol. Now she's dead. I, would be more concerned I wish I could talk excited. to her right now using speak with dead, but getting inside, I can't do that just yet. The doors are locked. They probably don't want me to open them up. So let's open up real quick over here then, where we can do. It's massive here. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. Hush, Quaniwell. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? An istic? But, but you can't be here. I can't be seen with you. That's your cry. Quaniwell. The Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. Well, they're not a lot like Lizelle. Not at all. They appear to be pretty polite. We don't need to lie to them, nor do we need to intimidate them. We'll just ask an honest question. Inquisition, what are you talking about? Our Queen's eyes and ears. They're her will incarnate, and right now, they're here. Terrifying. And also, at ease, I'm just looking for your captain. See? <laughs> I told you. Nothing to worry about. She's in her quarters. Through those doors. Alright, good to know. We're not going to go to her just yet. There's a few areas that I currently want to visit first. Ooh, there's a sigil too. Such a lack of discipline would be punished severely in I bet that's true. Now, what's over here? We've got a quarter mistress. 
All oh, right, a traitor. Let's talk to her real quick. Please, we want, but I could use loot. Ugh, blood, rust, squall. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. Hey, look, we try to keep it clean, okay? There must be something worthwhile on this plane, or your kind wouldn't be here. Most metals here fold like istics, much like istics themselves. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly. All right. Let's have a look at your wares. You've got a lot. Okay. Ooh, Knife of the Undermountain King. It's actually a short sword. Organ Rearranger. The Wilder scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. When they roll two damage or less, re-roll the dice, taking the highest result. And also, Shadow Blade. You have an advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscured targets when using this blade. I've got to have that. And over here, we've got Gloves of Dexterity. Ooh, if you wear them, you'll have a score of 18 for Dexterity. And also a plus one to your attack. Very handy. Unfortunately, we don't get a bonus to armor for Edrahill when it comes to a Dexterity bonus. Largely because he's wearing heavy plate armor. So no AC bonus from Dexterity, unfortunately. But we could still use it. And over here for Shadowheart, Defender Flail. Steel Physiology. Reduce incoming bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage by 1. Plus 1 to armor class 2. Yeah, she has a lot of really good stuff. Oh, even an invisible pike. That's crazy. Yeah, it's class as a pike. So, because it's invisible, the affected entity can't be disarmed, it has advantage on attack rolls, it scores a critical hit when rolling a 19. I've got to buy it all. Thankfully, I sell so many goods, we've got money. Everyone got a new item but Edgerhill. That's okay though, it's really not an issue. The whole party benefits. Alright, let's have a look over here before we go talk to any captain or inquisitor. I'm sorry, Savage. What's happening in here, Warfare Instructor? Kachoki! We are training to fight Gake! You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them! I it's stupid! Orphi- Silence! It seems your childish prattling is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? What a tough guy. We'll use persuasion. Leave the boy alone. You made your point. We've got a DC of 21. Oh boy. Let's try it out. We made it 21. Perfect. I suppose your inane spewings have distracted enough from my lesson. <clears throat> Go at the swords. I want them sharp enough to peel a Gake's eyeball just by looking at them. I hope you prove as weak as this should we meet on the battlefield, Istik. Yeah, clearly he's a warfare instructor. Some blade took all of his hair you off. Well Tragic. Alright, let's go Do talk better. to that young man. Only for a moment. That was amazing. Uh... I've never seen someone talk the Savage down from a rage like that. He's always telling us how we have to be ruthless, that death is the only mercy we deliver. But you... you showed compassion and kindness. You're just like... Never mind. Well, he clearly wants to talk about it. Now, just like who? If there's a like-minded soul here, I would love to meet them. A DC of 14. We'll add our bonus. 18. We made it. I speak of... Of Orpheus. The true prince. He's so strong and... And wise. And he rides a comet. A comet! We're forbidden to talk about him. They say Vlachith knows if you even think his name. I found his book part of it anyway. I read it all the time. He's unbelievable. 
All right then. So, let's see. Do others here read about these stories? I don't think so. No one I've met. I drew his symbol where I thought someone might see it and recognize it, but nobody did. I must have the only copy. That's probably true. Now, I don't want money from him. I could talk about him if you gave me your copy to read. You want me to... No, it's mine. I have to keep it safe. All right, you can keep it. I mean, I don't want to do anything here. I don't want to persuade him. I don't want to intimidate him. But we do have performance. Okay, good. That's a pretty good option. This story deserves to be told and stirred the hearts of others as it has yours. Performance. A DC of 21. Oh, boy. Let's try it out. We've got advantage. 17. I'm not going to use inspiration here. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's too dangerous. If you get caught or they find out it was me, I've already said too much. Please don't mention his name again. He's a funny kid because <laughs> he's almost said it multiple times. I mean, multiple mercy, times death, now. Death All right. This Let's get out of here real quick. Will. I think what we'll do, we'll keep on avoiding the main rooms for the moment. We'll head over here. A small portrait? Are you sure? That's massive. Maybe small for them. Let's have a look at it. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior. Undeniably regal in her mien. Vlacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. That might be it. I could draw a new face onto it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Let's have a look at that symbol. As hard as you rack your brain, the symbol doesn't look like anything you've seen before. Huh. All right, let's study the features of our subject here. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. All right, we'll leave. I don't like it. It's kind of bad. No, it's pretty good. All right, here's another youth. And a door to open up. What might be inside? Uh, children moving a box, a chest, and there's something inside. I'm not going to touch it. I don't know what they're doing. Whatever they do. I don't understand their culture and customs, okay? Let's have a look in here. Oh, I probably These shouldn't be in here. Look entirely too soft for my liking. Oh, really? Man, Lazelle is hard. Here's a gish. We'll talk to him. Gustel Stornagos employs some intensive methods for a healer. Okay, well, we didn't get too much. Let's move. Ah, another room. Huh, using mage hand to have a good time. That's pretty funny. Whoa, who's in here? A healer. Oh, that would be about the parasite. Then I don't want to go in there yet. That seems like a very, very bad idea. Largely because I don't have faith in her. I don't believe they're going to be able to patch us up. So let's come over here instead. They really do allow us to go anywhere. That's very surprising. Here's a hatchery. I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the very least. Yeah. There's nothing here. Let's go talk to that guy way over there. He looks a lot more important. So we'll jump here. We'll go alone. Be wary. This place is trapped. No kidding. A lot of traps too. All right, we'll take your time. We'll keep on jumping. <laughs> it makes my life so easy. I love it. There he is. Varj Koku, custodian of the hatchery. You can tell Kithrak Therizin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? 
I wanted to see the hatchery. I didn't expect it to look so empty. Almost all of the eggs in its clutch have hatched. We await only one more, which is taking its time. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Now, I could try to persuade him. Why do you care so much about one dud egg? A DC of 14. We'll add advantage. 16, we made it. Great. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool, if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. Interesting. I could take it somewhere safe. He knows it's not going to work out, so I could do that. But I would like to ask a question. What will happen to this egg if it doesn't hatch? Kithrak Therizin will give orders to destroy it. She will say it's a weakling. I'll give it a while longer. And if it doesn't hatch, it will have proven her right. All right, then. Let's see here. I could tell him to give it to me. Then I could give it to Lady Esther. At the very least, it wouldn't be destroyed. Maybe that would be a better choice. We'll try it out, sure. Why risk its life at all? Give it to me, I'll take care of it. A DC of 18. Very, very high. Let's try it. 17. We could use a point of inspiration. You know what? We'll do it for fun. 20. We made it. A nat 22. You? What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here... Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? Well, I'm not going to raise it as my own flesh and blood. I could try to find another crash. I like that idea. That's one idea. Do you think the Sword Coast is littered with creches? That you found this one was unlikely enough. But you've a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. Perhaps even equal to the challenge. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Alright. I've got his boots. Let's see. Acidic surfaces don't affect you. I'll take it for right now. Can we jump down and be okay? No, I don't want to get knocked prone, so... We'll climb down. We'll take our time. Yeah, it feels weird to take an egg like that, but... If it's going to be destroyed, then... We'll pick it up. There it is. Large green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. Could I give it to Lazel? Alright. I'm gonna pick it up gingerly and stow it in my pack. Let's be careful now. Yeah, my pack is massive. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's go back. Again, I really do wonder if Lazel will have anything to say about it. It's a strange event for sure. I came in here to check things out. Didn't know that would happen. Didn't really want it to happen. But that's life, I guess. This place is enlightening. My own crash, Kalea, is remote and sunless, cloaked in the silence of wild space. My Savage would find this one altogether too genial. I believe it. A hatchery with a single egg. How many does a clutch usually contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Alright. Now, Githyanki looked quite humanoid. 
How did you evolve to lay eggs? Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Wow. Okay. Now, who does the laying here? I'm curious about the logistics. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Wow. Okay, on to other matters. Go on then. Sure. Let's see. The crash training room was illuminating. Are instructors here always so brutal? My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kaleer had a hundred times circled Tyrell. All right, wow. That's really awful. Is life not precious to the Githyanki? Not every life is equal. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. Their lives were not precious. They were a blight that required expunging. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Yeah, maybe. Alright. Let's go now. Let's go talk to the captain now. We're certainly getting higher DCs to pass. That's going to make it much tougher for us to get things done. At least from time to time. But here we are. Oh man, look at that facial hair. How fancy. Let's open up and go inside. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us- Quiet. Find the Astral Prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. That shard seems important. Yeah, look at that. A barrier disruptor. Now, what's over here? The commander. Two wolves. The cultists. Yeah, they're dead. Wait, hold on. Wolves. I'm ready. Let's Whatever have a look at Shadowheart. I remember seeing a little bit about wolves for her. Yeah, a fear of wolves. Shadowheart's scalp prickles with fear when she encounters wolves. If she gets close, she's got to make a wisdom saving throw or become frightened. Alright. Let's just have her, I suppose, wait on her own right now. I think once we're done here, we'll go take a long rest. We'll go back to camp, talk to Elminster. Maybe pick up Karlak. Let's get going. I did think about Gale. I'll keep on just kind of considering it. I'm not too sure yet. But as of right now, let's just go talk to the feet captain. Carry me. To the commander. An Istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. It's really tough. We want to support Lazelle. 
The big issue is, when I try to get rid of that strange artifact, I can't. I can't drop it. So, could I actually just give it to the commander? I don't know. Let's see. If we really think about it here, we could try to lie. They could try to search us. I don't know if they would try to do that. If they could. Or we could fail at lying. It wouldn't be beyond my paladin to say, hey, look, we don't have it. However, again, would he actually be able to provide a passable lie? I don't know. But for right now, there's a Mind Flayer invasion in progress. Why don't you focus on that? You are well informed. My crash discovered the same. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. I know, it's strange. So, why is the weapon so important? I do not know. This hunt is the Inquisitor's folly, not mine. Okay. What does it look like? Maybe by chance it's another weapon? I know it's not, but we're still going to entertain it. It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script. Stolen by true soul heretics. You sense Shadowheart's worry. This weapon sounds like the artifact you carry. What was that look? You know something. Do you have it? Okay. Again, we could try to deceive her. That's true. It's possible. We don't know if she's really friendly or not. So, maybe we should try that, but Lazelle would know. And I do want Lazelle to stay with us. If I do anything to cross her and her people, she might leave, and she's been a very loyal ally to me. So, let's trust in the process right now. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but... I think because of Lazel being a good friend to Edrahill, that's what he would do for now. I have what you're looking for. I sincerely hope you know what you're doing. Shemar's Allah of Lakith. Give it to me. We'll produce it. No, no. Yes, there it is. Exactly as described. The Inquisition will finally come to an end. Sparks! Trickery? Heresy? How did you... You manipulate it when I cannot? It appears you have been chosen, Istic. You are lucky. It is not for me to question why. Go, seek the Inquisitor below, and take the cursed thing with you. It all worked out. I'm also trying to not kill all of the people here. I mean, if we fight, we fight, but if I'm able to avoid it, that would be great. You know, if she didn't give us the, the shard, Asterion could have <laughs> picked it up. He's very good at it, too. But for now, we'll go back over to the camp and take a little break to actually talk to Gel, Elminster, and whoever else. I'm not going to talk to any Inquisitor before having a long rest. We'll chat with Lazel later on. I still want to see everything through. Gel's in bad shape. There's Elminster. I wonder if I could just go to bed without talking to them right now. I would like to focus on task at hand, but that might not work out. For now, though, let's leave Asterion here. Honestly, I don't love walking into a den of Killigith warriors. Especially not with the you-know-what still wriggling in our heads. The Gith probably think decapitation is a perfectly reasonable cure. Yeah, you know what? I agree. I mean, I'm really worried about that too. But for now, stay in camp. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Sure, of course. Stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here Well, you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. No kidding. All right, we'll talk to Elminster now. Ah, there you are. Now, I hope you don't mind my having ingratiated myself into the most... 
unpronounceable graces of your provisions, you find me quite sated indeed. Mmm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Anthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. That's a lot. So, you were sent here as an actual divine messenger. Sounds about right for Elminster. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. And I trust you told your fellow traveler here the nature of your ills. I can't say that so far I volunteered uh, the entire truth. Do you mean to say you've never bothered to disclose how dangerous you are? Not in so many words. No. Then you two have much to discuss after I'll have taken my leave. In short, Gale, through his own doing, has become a living explosive that could wipe from this world this very gathering and, and much more besides. For his folly, Mistra forsook him. But now she has decreed he is to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. All right here. If the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. The very purpose of my presence. In a roundabout sort of way. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods. The weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Well, that is a lot of pressure. Gail alone. How so? The orb. Precisely. That which renders him so dangerous is an orb of Netherese origin that is buried within his chest. And that, Gale, is how we arrive at the heart of my directive. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. All right, that isn't great. I think what Edrahil would say here would be in defense of Gale. Say what you will, but you can't force Gale to go through with this. 
No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistress Will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress Promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra Mistra Idalior Thras Anas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. No kidding. Well, there's still a long journey ahead. We will find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. No kidding. I think I grew a beard just by hearing him talk. Well, a longer beard. We could bring Gale right now, but it's not about him. That was a lot of time spent on him. It's more about Lazelle at the moment. Maybe once we get closer to Baldur's Gate, we've got answers in the future, but I'll get Carlac to join us. She's going to become a Wolfheart Barbarian. It's going to be a nice little addition, I think. Not another dream. Here we go. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Am I? Tell me who you are. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halson knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. That's a lot, okay. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. 
When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Okay. How are you able to protect me? I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. I am bouncing around a little bit, but let's go talk in the infirmary just to resolve that part of her quest line too. I've brought Karlak in. Let's have a look at her real quick. She's right over here. So she's a Wolfheart Barbarian. Wolfheart, enter a rage so inciting it spurs on your allies. You can use inciting how, and your allies have an advantage when melee attack rolls against enemies within seven feet of you. I gave her gloves of dexterity. I just want her to be able to act first. She's also got a feat, great weapon master, all in. She's got a high chance to hit, so that extra damage should come in handy. I've also given her one bow of awareness, adding plus one to her initiative rolls. Again, I just want her to move first. Now, I could take away her armor. She would still have 17 AC, but I wasn't too sure about her fighting in her underwear. I know some people won't mind, and I do understand it, but <laughs> we'll put her clothing back on. Maybe she'll get a bit fresh later on, who knows. But for now, so progress. let's go talk over here. I mean, we're not everything. too far away. It's going to be a strange venture, trying to get someone to patch us up. We've got two routes to talk to that healer, and also to, of course, talk to that Inquisitor. I feel like the Inquisitor is going to be a much more um, pronounced problem to handle, so let's take the easier one for right now. I don't know what might be in that chest, and I don't want to find out. That vessel. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Maybe I should let her chat a bit. Let's do that. Lazel, go on. Lazel, is it? Fine. And be quick. My work is of vital import. We carry gay tadpoles and have done so for countless days. Yet we show no symptoms. We must enter the Zaysk. You are infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Saithisk. I will ensure you are cured. Okay. And what will it do? It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Even get I highly doubt that. Safest. Why? Because you it's protected by used. magic. We know that to be true. Again, what we're doing right now, we're following three for Lazel. Otherwise, Edgerhill 
wouldn't be here, of course. And the voice in that artifact told us to take, yeah, these specimens over here. We could do that. There's a lot. Oh, there's a lot, all right. We keep on getting a few updates over here. It sounds dangerous. Yeah, no kidding right now. The device is strange. Made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Sathisk. Vlakith's purity distilled. My duty. My right. Go ahead, Lazelle. You've earned it. I'm hoping it's not a harmful process. I would try to stop her, but keep in mind, that was her quest from the very beginning. She probably doesn't want to be stopped. So, go ahead. Praise Blacketh. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. Yes, child, speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? No, I don't believe so. I could wait and watch, but... She's not going to be okay. If we can, we've got to persuade her. We'll try it out here. A DC of 30? You're kidding me! We'll use advantage, guidance, all of it. There's no way. We'll try. We'll try right now. A 17 and a 17. A 25. That won't work. That was a really good roll, too. Okay, we'll try again. A 21, but what we need is very, very simple. Right now, wait, we did it, a nat 20. Let's go, that's d and oh man. That was beginning to stress me out. That moment when you just begin to sweat, you're like, oh no, if I mess up here, we're in trouble. We used a lot of inspiration, but it finally worked out. I, oh yes, oh, I feel it, oh, splitting. Burning! Ah! <laughs> what madness is this? The Zathis can nearly destroyed me! I am Githyanki! I will not be gay! My life's work! Gone! And yet she lives! And so does her parasite. There's something in her voice that goes beyond rage. Curiosity, perhaps, or regret. Whatever it is, you cannot identify it. I could try to lie to her. But we have a right to be angry here, sure. So you tried to kill her, and you failed. The Zathisk does not fail. The only variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools. I don't believe her. No! It can't be! It can't! This was my right! That Let's talk to Lizelle close. now. No kidding. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. Wait, hold on. Did you? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk to Lizelle Locked, now. of course. Yeah, naturally. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathisk might have killed me. 
the Gustil tampered with it. Traitor. And there may be more still. This must be why the Inquisitors come. I don't believe so, but... Here. The traitor's doctor. How can you be so sure? Vlakith does not abandon Githyanki. The Zathis was tampered with. There is no other explanation. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the doctor's sedition. Sure, we'll do that. We should probably plan our way out, though. The door is locked. We've got to be careful. But I'm glad we were able to save her. That was going to be probably incredibly bad. It didn't look good to begin with. We only have a brief amount of time, but that's plenty of time to come up with a plan of attack. Right now, we know that we're locked in. We could go pick up Asterion, who could then, of course, lockpick that door. Andrew Hill could use a maul to break it open, but then he would block the door. If we have enemies behind, and we know that we do, remember we passed through, there were so many Githyanki. The doctor is over there, and I'm sure that she's trying to gather up a force. So, right now, Lazel, you'll drink one of our two Elixirs of Vigilance. Drink to gain a plus five bonus to initiative. It's very good. She's going to begin our combat round, and we want her to go first. I'll have her use our smoke powder bombs. They're very good. We got them from a deep gnome we saved. We have only two, but let's use it. Andrew Hill is going to teach Lazelle about vengeance. Okay. Tears protection on Lazelle. Now she has 19 AC. He's going to move over here and sneak around. Shadowheart, you're going to use a Shield of Faith on Karlak, who will also have 19 AC. Then you two will move over to the left. Perfect. Brimming with magic. Take it. Yeah, there's plenty in here. We could do that. It might be useful. It won't be for Edrahill, maybe another character. Okay, Karlak. Let's have you move a little bit closer. You're gonna put down that Nautiloid tank. And we're gonna get everyone into position. Let's have a look at the map real quick and everything that we're doing. We've gotten pretty far at the moment. We're going to blow it up and do a good old-fashioned fantasy breach and clear. All right, so we've got only the one room over here to worry about. We probably don't want to move too far to the east. We could involve other Githyanki. Or maybe we've got to fight the whole crash. I hope not, but we're going to find out very soon. Now it's time for the big boom attack. See, Edrahill is a warrior. Not a great namer of operations. No one on our side took damage. We've got a crate nearby. The children are gone. Huh, interesting. That chest is still around. We've also got four Get the Yankee right by the front door. The doctor back over here and two more warriors to worry about. That's fine. Let's get Lazel to move up a little bit. Pull out your glaive. You've got to. Let's use our smoke powder bombs. Gotta be a bit mean, I think. They were mean to us. Let's take him out. Throw a bomb in. That hit all four. Not bad. Wait. They haven't seen you. Even better. Oh, now they have. Okay. Thankfully, she was able to roll first. All right. They're not all grouped up. Unfortunate. Throw in your bomb right over here. Okay. Did we kill anyone? We took out who? Let's see. One Ardent. The Gish is still very much alive at 35 HP. The youth over here has only five. The Raider, 17. All right. Let's see. If you could jump over here somewhere, Lazel, that would be great. It looks like right now you can't do that, which is really unfortunate. Actually, right over here should be sufficient. You've got extra reach with your weapon. She's jumping into combat. We're gonna use an action surge. Now she's able to act again. That youth, currently dead. All right, we could use a rush attack. Let's go after the raider. Nine damage. All right. She made her save, which is fine, of course. Now, Karlak, you've got to do something too, you know. You've got to move in. No, never turn down the fire. You've joined the battle. Well, okay, that's fine. She gets to move anyway. So we're going to jump in. Let's go after the Gish. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, hello there. I see you're going to have a bad day. We're going to use a reckless attack. A decent chance to hit. 19 damage. Attack again. 
21 damage. He's dead. He's gone already. <laughs> Good job. A ring of elemental infusion. When you deal acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage using a spell or cantrip, that element infuses your weapon. Until the end of your next turn, you deal an additional 1d4 damage of that element. Ooh, okay. Nice. Well, they're gone now. See, I might use ranged attacks to attack over here only because I don't want to go by that hallway. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they're very, very close. And hold on. What are, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just scared. I don't know why, but I feel fear. I don't blame you. All right, Karlak, you're done. Shadowheart, you get to move in too. What are we going to do over here? A Misty Step could be a lot of fun. You could use a Guiding Bolt. Yeah, go after that Raider if you don't mind. Sure, do it. Try it out if you can. A counter spell? The doctor had a counter spell. Fuck those kids. Wait. Thing. They had a Grimishka in that crate. Oh, they're adorable. I wonder if I could take it home. It's currently enlarged. All right, well, we've got a new reason to take them all out. You're done now, Lazelle. I got counterspelled. <laughs> now that caught me off guard. Edrahill, let's have you move up real quick. Could you go after, let's see, that one fellow over here. See, that would be great if you could like charge in and also do that. But as of right now, no, I don't believe so. Jump into combat. Try it out. All right, not bad. It's not your turn, but that's okay. We'll end our oh current God. turn. I think we've done all right. The Grimish is going after the doctor, hitting her for a lot of damage. That one, oh, hold on. That one raider hit Lazel for what, 10 damage? She missed her falling attack. Oh, you're done for now. Okay, so currently I'm gonna have Shadowheart use a healing word on our good buddy over here, Lazel. You know how much those two get along. There it is. A Blade Ward 2. She won't take nearly as much damage, which is nice. Let's move Shadowheart over here. We'll end her turn again. The youth are now moving in. See, I wanted them to move in. They're going after that Grimishka. It's nearly dead, unfortunately. Karlak was almost hit by a ray of sickness. Now the doctor's patching up. Oh, I'm going to take all of you on. So as of right now, we're going to have Edrahill attack. Let's see. No, you can't jump in, unfortunately. I was hoping that maybe you could jump in. So instead, let's move over here. We could use Hold Person. Oh, shoot. The Gip Yankee are joining in who are over in that hallway. That's going to be a pain for all of us. Actually, instead, we'll use Bless. Bless is incredibly good. Use it on Karlak, Edrahill, and also Lizzo. Done. Now we're all blessed. All right, in turn again. That one warrior from the hallway is now dashing into combat. Hey, we get more to fight. A pommel strike on Edrahill for four damage. He made his saving throw to maintain his concentration. Lazelle's going to take out that raider. A high chance to hit. Ten damage. That raider is currently dead. We'll go after some nearby youth. Actually, you know what? That warrior. We'll use the trip attack. Let's go. 13 damage. He also parried. Oh, good for him. All right, six damage after that. She's done now. Karlik, it's your turn again. It's time to use your wolf heart, I think. Get angry. Let's go. Get really, really angry. All right. Now, let's go after that one warrior. Use another reckless attack. Try it out. Kill that warrior if you don't mind. 25 damage. He's dead, all right. Next, we'll go after that youth nearby, right by the doctor and another youth. A miss, unfortunately, but hey, it happens. All right, that Grimishka is doing what? Only a five HP, attacking the doctor once again and again. Nice. All right, Shadowheart's gonna move up. We're not gonna use any spell casting right by that Grimishka. I don't wanna do that right now. That feels a bit dangerous. So instead, we're gonna bring out our crossbow and it's time to attack. All right, Doctor. Enjoy your shot. Eight damage. Nice work. All right. Let's do it again. Four damage. 
that turn is over. Let's see, Carlank hit for two damage. The Gromishka was missed by the other youth. Now Edger Hill's gonna move on. We're gonna use a smite. A thunderous smite? No, actually, wait, hold on. She's about to die. Yeah, we'll just come over here and whack on that doctor. She's dead now. Cool. We'll use a pommel strike on a youth. Two damage. And they're also dazed. And finally, a divine smite. It's time. Look at that. Dead. Okay. Don't move too far away. We don't want an opportunity attack. So Edra Hill is now done. Lizelle is going to move in again. We'll go after that youth. They've got some temp HP. 17. A massive critical hit. Alright, attack again. Dead. Alright. Let's turn on toggle non-lethal attacks. Let's try to knock out that Gromishka. A miss, unfortunately. Alright, Karlak, your turn. Yeah, go on. Use a reckless attack again. You need advantage. Alright, it's been knocked out. That was a massive hit, but they've been knocked out. Interesting times. Okay, it's time for what? A short rest. We could do a long rest, but that feels weird. It feels like if we were in the middle of an epic battle and we stopped to take a nap, that just wouldn't be right. But a five or ten minute break, so be it. All right, let's pick up a little bit of loot over here. Doctor, you had a what? Another Githyanki short sword. An aberration hunter's amulet. A Githyanki wearing this amulet has advantage on intelligence saving throws. Aberrations also have disadvantage on attack rolls against them. That's really good. Okay, so we'll give that to, of course, Lazel. Yeah, playing a Githyanki should be a lot of fun. I feel like there would be a lot for you to say and do. We killed so many. Jeez. I mean, naturally, I'm going to take everything over here. If I need to, I'll send it back home. I don't mind doing that. All right, let's see. Grimishka, 1 HP. I can't do anything with you. I wish I could. So, we're pretty much patched up. Let's have a look at the map. Provided no one else comes to attack us, then we should be able to move over here to the captain's quarters. Then, finally, we'll go meet that Inquisitor. Maybe Lazelle could talk to the captain, but I doubt that would be a good idea. She wouldn't have much to say. She would say, hey, go talk to that Inquisitor, I'm sure. This is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. No kidding. What took place here so long ago? I'll breathe easier once we're gone from here. I mean, it's a basement, but... For a monastery, what were they I doing down here? No, expect that Chagrai will aid us. I don't think so, but it's good to have dreams, Lazelle. It's very it's good to have dreams. Simple before. I don't know why it would be now. Exactly that. I don't know why either. All right, we're here finally. Uh, our esteemed guest, please approach. We have much to discuss. I suppose we do. Let's have a conversation. You, me, and well, the crew. We're moving up. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing geek slave vessel. Chirai. Vlacketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. Thank you. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Here's our big thing right now. We've got so many different voices in our head, so many different people talking to us. We know that the Githyanki over here haven't been very friendly. If they don't care about their own people, why would they care about us? They only want the weapon back. Lazelle believes they'll cure us, they'll help us. That can't be. That probably won't be. However, we still don't know who that dream visitor actually is. And we're not getting a lot of information, so if we could go talk to her, if we could go get more information, appraise her, that would be great. And as of right now, let's have a conversation. How do you know so much about me? 
Some of your species say knowledge is power. They are wrong. Knowledge is everything. We took an interest in you when you became involved with this absolute cult. A pestilence of infected slaves. The first symptom of the grand design in action. But you are lucky. That weapon you carry is the solution. I have heard it from Queen Vlakith herself. Hand it over. Hold on now. Tell me about the grand design. The grand design is what all geek seek. The restoration of the Illithid Empire, which spanned the entirety of the multiverse. For centuries there, elder brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Never before could they pause Ceremorphosis. Never before could they let the infection spread undetected. You saw the thralls gathered on the Geek ship. Imagine that everywhere. Wants, needs, choice. All would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Geek. So, the weapon. Please. Don't give it to him. I know. But now I'm going to produce it. He did say please. He's very polite. No, that isn't why I'm doing it. But we are going to produce the artifact. And when he puts it like that, I do understand why they want it so badly. Of course, if your queen told you that, I don't trust her. No. So it is found. Blackith Gorg Shkathzai. My queen. Shkathzai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. I could. That's true. But you're not my queen. I won't be doing that. I'll stay standing, thank you. I expected a little of Istic education, but here we kneel before our queen. Your choice of allies is most vexing. They do not become you, Blazel. Chmar Zala Vlaketh, you know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic, you bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? Shadowheart would be the one who took the weapon. Of course, she doesn't need to know them. I could say, I'm the hero who found your weapon, but that would be a bit arrogant for Edrahill. Instead, he's going to say for right now, because we've got to play along, I didn't take the weapon from you, but I am returning it. An unexpected servant. Your will is strong. Your kind will go far for glory, as you have shown by being here. Extend your fealty one step further, and you will be rewarded beyond your mortal reckoning. That weapon you carry, the astral prison, it is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this. And I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this and ascend. Ascension. My queen. An honor gained. A burden borne. You must. 
must accept. Refuse, and you will know my fury. Well, look, I'm not sure if Lazelle would betray us. She's prickly, we all know that, but she's been a good companion to have, a good warrior. She's going to let her thoughts be known, but she's going to fight for Edrahill pretty much no matter what. But, look, we're not going to kowtow to the Queen anymore. I've done my part. I can't do that. The person inside protects me from the Absolute, which is true. We're not lying. You are being lied to. I will be obeyed! Skra, do not defy my Queen! That's a lot. No, in fact, maybe I'll be the one to free that person inside. Sherlock, you would stand against me. Autonomy begets consequence. Oh, Orgas, see that my orders are followed. If not, eliminate them and enter the prism yourself. See that protocol is done. With pleasure, my queen. Use this to enter the prism or deny me. The choice, as ever, is yours. But know this. My wrath is carried with each of my faith. It will find you. To refuse Blackett is to refuse me. You will do as she asks, or I will be her wrath. Well, I don't want to fight you. But hold on, we're going to use persuasion. Lizelle, follow my lead. You need to trust me, whatever comes next. Let's come over here real quick, a DC of 18. Friends, because we are friends. Guidance too for another bonus. Please work out today. Thank goodness, if we didn't have friends, we would be in trouble right now. But, we actually scored very well, 26. Trust is yours, but it is fragile. Break it and be broken. Come, we must enter the prism. Its secrets are finally ours to know. No kidding. Well, we have found out a lot now. I can't wait to visit that guy again. We'll go inside. The main reason is we want to find out more about, of course, what we have on us. So if we could go inside, talk to our dream visitor, that sounds like a great way to do it. Let's go. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. That was quite the trip, for sure. How beautiful and haunting. A timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold. A pocket of astral plane. Boundless. Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. They want me to go inside of someone's beckoning cave. I don't like that. I don't think Lazelle liked me using a spell on her like friends. Understandable. Now, let's pick up a bit of weave moss. I need that for potion making. That's one thing that I love to do. I love to collect everything I can to make more potions. Come over here, a divine bone shard. Sounds handy for sure. There we go. We've got an oil of combustion. It's rare. One hit, a coated weapon covers its target in oil for two turns. Oil covered targets immolate upon taking fire damage, dealing 3 to 18 fire damage to everyone and everything nearby. 
That is brutal. Divine Bone Shard. I want that too. Or very powerful elixirs. Ones that could save us one day. A scroll of seeming, also very rare. Skies up to four members of your adventuring party. Oh, I like that. Tell me, do you have more? May I have another, please? Yeah, here's another bone shard. Let's come back down. We've got a few more items to pick up. We could jump over here, but is there anything? I don't know. Chasm Creeper. I've got that now. Or Weave Moss. Here's a heavy crossbow. And another dead one. Alright, what do you have? A little slate here. Let's read it. The slate's faded symbols are hard to distinguish, let alone decipher. The drawings etched underneath them, however, are plain to see. They depict a dragon soaring above two individuals, one standing tall, the other kneeling. A circle is drawn around them. A fuzzy tail trailing behind, they are riding a comet. Interesting. Orpheus, maybe. All right, let's go back. We've got to go into a beckoning cave. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. I'm not leaving my companions behind. Suit yourself. But only the leader of your group is coming in. I will not allow anyone else. This one's all yours. Thank you, Shadowheart. Alright, fine. We'll follow in. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? I couldn't. Let's continue. Oh wait, here's a line. She's not saying it aloud, but... Still, refusing a Githyanki Queen's orders, that was bold. You are a worthy ally. Sure. Now, you have some explaining to do. Very well. What do you want to know? So much. Now... Why does Vlakith want you dead? Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. You know, I do wonder, would that blade harm her? It's a pretty neat show, but hold on. I told Vlanketh I wouldn't kill you. I meant what I said. Get up. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Vlanketh will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Really? Okay. She's a goddess. What could you possibly know that would bring down her empire? Godlike in power, yes. But with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. 
But that very power, the power to resist illicit control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. Okay, sure, maybe. Now, you could let her try. She most certainly will. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path, to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. Be warned, the Inquisitor awaits your return from this place with orders to kill you. No doubt the rest of the crash will join him. Good luck. Lizelle, I've got good news for me, bad news for you. But hopefully we can work things out. Hopefully. Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? About that. Now look. I'm not going to kill them. They protect us from the Absolute, I could tell her that. But instead, let's tell her the truth. Actually, I learned a few things. Your queen is lying to you. Vlaketh does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Show me. Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Well, thank you for knocking. I could close my mind to her. I could try to persuade her. But instead, I'm going to let her in. It's my way of showing her, hey, I do trust you. I need you to trust me here. But I also understand that that would really wreck everything her life is based on. She only talks about her queen. She only talks about her people. And if I'm right, that all comes crashing down for her. So I'll open my mind. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Vlaketh Tafkinazin. I see only... only madness. Vlaketh bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. We must go to the Chirai. He will summon Vlaketh. She must know of this... this apostate. All right, that's fine. I tried. So we're going to go now. We're going to leave. I mean, what a cool area. I don't even need a suit to travel around. That's great. A long sword, but not a very good long sword. Let's go back to the material plane. Again, I'm getting into some weird arcane holy hole. As usual, I suppose. Hello, Inquisitor. I bet you're happy to see us here. Lazel. I've been waiting. You are named Hashalak. Bend your head, for my blade is ready. Chirai, please, summon Vlaketh. There's much- Irrelevant, geek wretch. The queen has spoken. Your death is decreed. You realize what Lazel doesn't? Whatever the outcome of your visit to the Astral Prism, Vlakith had no intention of letting either of you live. Poor Lazel. Okay. With me. Edrahill didn't roll death. well when it comes to initiative. We've got four Githyanki who will go, then Shadowheart, another Githyanki, then finally Edrahill. Thankfully, Lazel gets to go first. Alright, so we're going to use over here a standard attack for fun. Let's try it out. He parried and took only one point of damage. All right, we'll use a polearm clout. Yeah. Take that Inquisitor, six damage. Then we're gonna use a trip attack using one of our battle master maneuvers. High chance to hit, 13 damage. He made his save, but now it's time for an action surge. Let's try that out. Another trip attack. There we go, 22 damage, and he's been knocked prone too. Let's also try to frighten him. We'll keep on attacking, 16 damage. Aren't you lucky? You made your save again. All right, Lazelle's going to move over to the left, right by another Ardent. No Done. Karlak, it's your turn. Place. You've got advantage. That's really good. I want you to use a Searing Smite. Try it out. An 80% chance to hit. Let's go. 30 damage. A good start. The Inquisitor has only 24 HP left. Time to strike again, I think. Let's go. 23 damage. Only one HP left, and he's on fire. 
So, enjoy your trip. <laughs> he was trying to be so intimidating, too. Parlak, come up over here. Block that one warrior. Actually, go after the raider. Under their noses. You're not too close, but you're close enough, I do believe. All right, we'll end our turn. We're done. Their turn now. One raider gets away. Ah, oh, you weren't close enough. Okay. A trip attack on Lazel. He missed. Then a piercing shot. He hits for 11 damage. Then a rally, which provides... Eight temporary hit points to a nearby ally. The other Ardent to the right of us is able to use a Psychic Rend on Shadowheart, hurting her for 16 damage. There we go, Lazel. You hit him for 12 damage. Another Psychic Rend. Edra Hill and Shadowheart are not doing well for our current battle. The Inquisitor is dead. That feels really, really good. So, right now, Shadowheart, I want you to use a spiritual weapon. Use it over here. Perfect. That's going to help out a lot. After that, we've got a few options. Move up. We could use Hold Person. Level 3. Let's see, we've got... Oh, you're out of my line of sight? Really? What about you? You're not Warrior. Decent chance to hit. Who else do we have? Another guy over here in Ardent. Let's try it out. Hold person on two targets. Good job, Shadowheart. Haha, <laughs> revenge. Okay, you can't move. Edrahill can. So I would like to go after an Ardent. Go on, Edrahill. All right, he's right over here. We're going to use, let's see, what do we have? A Divine Smite. A level two Divine Smite. Absolutely. Let's go. All right. Only 7 HP left. Strike again. And he's dead. Another step forward. I do love a good smiting. Alright, spiritual weapon. Go on to attack. A miss, unfortunately. Back over to Lazel. So, who do we have around us? We've got 1, 2, and 3 enemies left. Lazel's going to jump up real quick. Yeah, jump right over here. Simple. Oh, I can't see it right now. There we go. All right. I could have you use a standard attack again. But instead, trip him. Try it out. He's been knocked prone again. And we'll attack one more time. All right, 10 damage. You're done. Karlak, let's see. You could go execute that one enemy. Or go after who else? Eh, go kill him. For fun. Here comes Karlak. Surprise. Wait, we leveled up? Really? Oh, that's really, really good. Okay. Could we jump over here? We can. Nice. All right, so now Karlak, you've got to attack. Go on, have fun. That Ardent, dead. 30 damage. All right, so we've got, what, one more left? Shadowheart is back. We're going to move up real quick. I could try to hit you, but let's wait a moment. Edrahill, your turn. We're going to use a Thunderous Smite. Level 2. I'm upcasting today. 30 damage. A critical hit. <laughs> Attack again. 21 damage. And we've won. If not over, then through. That was a good one, I think. All right, hold on. Jump down, Karlak. We've got a lot of loot to pick up. But for right now, we need to talk to Lazel. Vlakith. Vlakith. I have wielded your fury as a blade. Roared your wrath as a dragon. Yet I crawl among my own people. Low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! Is this to be my penance? Is this heart of stone doomed to shatter? She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlakith's favor yet. Well, she's being very delusional, but again, I do understand why. Everything her life is based on is based upon what she's talking about. But here, you're an enemy of your people now. Silence! 
I must think. I know. I know. Take your time. Right on my feet. So now we get to level up. Oh, we've got to fight the crash. They're in danger, not us. Not only do we get more HP, we finally get our aura of protection. You and any nearby allies gain a bonus to saving throws. It's permanent too. That's great to have. So now we're done. I gave Polar Mastery over to Lazelle. So, in order for her to have a bit more battlefield control, let's pick up Sentinel for her. Yeah, there we go. When an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack. Very nice. You gain advantage on opportunity attacks, and when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move for the remainder of its turn. That's pretty darn good in my view. We could stop so many different enemies from being able to move around. Well, if they want to, they're going to take some damage. Nice. Shadowheart's turn now. A new subclass feature. Channel Divinity, War God's Blessing. Endow a nearby ally with the glory of your god to grant them a plus 10 bonus to their attack roll. Also really good. You've got another Divinity Charge. And a level 3 spell slot unlocked. Nice work, Shadowheart. I think eventually I might get Karlak to multi-class, but for right now, let's pick up our animal aspect. I'll change it later on, but I think at the moment I'm going to give her aspect of the bear. Her carrying capacity is doubled, and she'll have advantage on strength checks too. I mean, if we needed to lift, she'll be able to do that. I had Karlak go around to pick up all the little different bits of loot. And we've got a letter too. The Sharlik Voss. Didn't we meet him earlier? Was he riding a dragon? That might have been him. I could be wrong. Now, the slate is densely packed with carvings. A few words recur throughout. Voss, the Sharlik, Black Kith, loyalty. A note has been written over the text in common. Voss, traitor. He could be friendly to us. Now, the Inquisitor had a potion of angelic slumber. Drink the ball into a two-turn slumber, unless interrupted, you gain the benefits of a long rest. Then he had over here one circlet of psionic revenge. When you succeed a saving throw, the foe that caused the throw takes one to four psychic damage. Get the Yankee also gain a plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Let's see. Got some other item over here. Arcane Synergy. Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to affected entity spellcasting ability modifier. We've got a few other items. The Strange Conduit Ring I'll probably give the Shadowheart while concentrating on a spell. The Wearer's Weapon Attack deal an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage. Pretty good, I think. Yeah, we'll give that over to her. That too. And also, let's see, Psionic Revenge goes to Lazelle. That should do it, I think. We've got some more loot to pick up, though. Another corner. Let's see. We've got plaques here. Lathander bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Does he? Lathander blesses the rising bountiful sun. Okay, hold on. Let's grab a bit more loot. So, we are able to interact with the statues here. Let's see real quick. Can I turn you? Let's turn you to a different direction, maybe. We'll try that one. And can I turn you? The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Well, we have oil, and we also have grease, too. I've got, let's see. I know I've got, like, a scroll of grease somewhere. I have a lot of scrolls. Scroll of grease. Yeah. Okay, we've got it. Let's cast it all over here. Let's try now. That'll do it, I think, right? Now, what direction do you need to face? The statue has revealed a hidden door. Curious. That'll work. So now we've got a hidden door. I'm going to move what we have over here, or I could attack it. Yeah, get out of here. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to jump through. 
Well, there we go. Find the blood of Lathander. The journal's been updated. Let's have a look real quick. Secret passageway opened. We should see what lies within. Could that be it? That would be pretty easy if so. Let's go down. Yeah, no kidding. Now, if there's any one thing I know, if you've got some manner of secret room, bring a rogue. Someone who's able to disarm traps. It's a staple of D&D. You're going to have traps. So right now, Shadowheart is going to take a break. Asterion is here. What a day. Let's see, what do we have? We've got a barrier. We're able to hit that one energy source. I suppose we've got to for right now. Let's go for it. All right. We've got a Dawnbreaker trap. Well, that doesn't seem safe. Hold on then. Let's take our time. We'll go into a turn base mode. Move in to disarm it. Hopefully we can. Oh, a DC of only 14. We're gonna be okay. 28, simple. All right, what else do we have over here? Well, first off, we should also probably do a short rest. Off we go then. All right, let's travel around. We probably no longer need to sneak around, I would imagine. I hope not. Yeah, that door is still shut. Let's jump over here real quick. There it is. Okay, let's shoot that one. One, two. All done. All right, Asterion, keep on moving. Yeah, I love rogues. I love to play them. I mean, I'm a big barbarian fan too. And paladins, of course. All right, 16. Thankfully, we made it. Another trap gone. Stay alone. Now, there's bound to be some other crystal. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, there's only so many places to look. That's really the good part. It takes a bit to actually truly be stumped, I think. We got that one, too. Let's, let's. let's get her party back together. That room looks intimidating. <laughs> oh, all right. Thankfully, we had a short rest. Let's have a look at the map real quick. What a place to be. Edrahill, you're going to have to lead the charge inside. I feel like Elfiana Jones right now. There's bound to be some greater trap, right? Otherwise, it would have been way too easy. Oh, it's a mace. A holy mace. Well, I need it. There's a panel over here. We don't have a crest. An ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace must be the legendary blood of Lathander. The amber is said to contain the blood of the Morning Lord himself. Okay. I know I shouldn't do it. But it's beautiful, it's shiny, it's a magical item. As a D&D player, I've got to have it. Let's reach into the light and take it. You recall all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. Okay, as a D&D DM, I also know what that means too. Whenever the DM says, hey, do what you want, pal, but I'm letting you know, Things might get a bit tough. It's going to get a bit tough. But I'm going to take the mace anyway. Look, in tabletop, sometimes you've just got to have fun. You've got to make a dumb choice. What, we all die? I mean, we'll see. Give it here. Perfect. Haha. <laughs> There it is. Not a good sound at all. It's containing Edrahill. All right. Like giant mechanized creatures. What? No, not that. Huh. Is it like a bomb? No. It's leading to the outside world. Okay, that's really bad. 
You're kidding me. What type of weapon do you have? It's aimed down over here. Now I understand. Every it's really bad. Emotion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Oh dear God. Get me out of this thing before the whole building collapses. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Someone find the way out of here. So we've got solar machines over here. Can we shoot them? We can. Go on, Asterian. All right, 20 damage. Shoot again. You've got one. That'll be the key. Okay, now, Karlak, what do you have over here? You've got an arrow of lightning. Try that. Attack now. 10 damage. Not bad. It could be better. An arrow of acid. You could try, like, different ones if we truly wanted to. But, here. Attack. 3 damage. Okay, so we've got to use special arrows. Now, let's see. An arrow of fire. We'll try that one. Go on, Lazel. We only have four turns here. But thankfully, that dealt a lot of damage. Can I use another one, if you don't mind? Well, let me do that. So, a standard attack again. Only one HP left. Let's move over here. So, we've got nearly two down so far. Lazel, you'll move too. Asterion is done. Edrahil, you could, I don't know, perform a little bit. Yeah. I mean, if you can't actually fight, then perform. What do we have over here? The power? Old time battles? Perfect. Their turn now. He's going to cheer us on right now. Boost our morale. All right, Asterion. Let's see. Another range attack right over here. I actually love that he's doing that. It's a bit crazy, sure, but I love it. Another machine gone. I feel inspired already. He whistles so well. I had no idea. Another arrow of fire way over here. All right, more damage done. I wish I could use another one, but it takes up an action. That's why. Okay, right, right. Attack again. Done. All right. Back over to Karlak. We could attack again, and so we shall. Only five HP left. All right, let's end our turns. He'll continue to whistle. The whistle to victory. All right. Two turns to go. Then after that, it's back to us again. Asterion. Take your shot. Well, that worked out. <laughs> oh God. We need a break. We definitely need a break. Can't it's time to get out. We're not going to talk about what we just did and how we almost died. We won't talk about it. Don't tell Shadowheart. No. Don't tell anyone. And its people. And to what end? Does it matter? We managed to stop it. <laughs> oh boy. No, I actually Such insouciance. You cannot comprehend the destruction we nearly triggered. She's absolutely right. I completely get it. She probably hates me now. Let me check real quick. No, it's okay. It's fair. It used to be better, but it's fair now. Let's get out. We'll have a look at our mace once we leave. We could send Asterion back home to bring back Shadowheart. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Look at that beautiful item, though. 9 to 14 damage. Once per long rest, when your hit points are reduced to 0, you regain 2 to 12 hit points. Allies within 30 feet also regain 1 to 6 hit points. Lathander's Light sheds holy light in a 20 foot radius. In combat, fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. I hope we get to fight more undead. That's really cool. Or fiends. We've got a sunbeam over here. 6 to 48 damage. A level 6 evocation spell. Nice. 
A beam of brilliant light sears and blinds all creatures in its path. What's over here? Concussive Smash 2. 9 to 14 damage. Yeah, I think we might give that to Shadowheart. She deserves it. Let's go back up and get ready to move out now. We've got a crush to fight, unfortunately. You know what? Shadowheart will get her mace later on. We could go back to camp again to pick her up, but we would need to go back into that trapped room or that relic room. Right now, let's fight our way out. We took a little break to find a legendary item. That was great, but now we need to move on. Actually, I wonder if Asterion should lead the way. Yeah. We're gonna have him... Oh, hold on. Enemy. Shoot him. Dead. Okay, that worked out. Good job. Quick shot, by the way. She went running and died. Maybe don't charge down here. I'll take that. It's all mine, thank you. All right, all of you take your time. Uh-oh, hold on. Get him again. Cried out. We got a wolf, too. Oh, we can do that. Don't worry about it. All right, so we want to jump over there. We might have to use a misty step because we don't have a great angle to actually jump inside. Hold on, do you have your ranged weapon out? Oh boy, that isn't what I want. All right, switch on over real quick, if you don't mind. Come over here real quick. If you could do that for me, that would be great. Can't do it yet, so let's just have you move up. See, I don't want her to block the door though. That's my big concern. I really don't want that, but let's see. We'll just move over here, fine. Let's get really, really close and attack. We're gonna use a menacing attack. Let's cause a bit of fear. She is frightened. She did parry, but she's still frightened. Good. After that, a trip attack. Go on. 25 damage. She wasn't tripped, but she took a lot of damage. Can we move a little bit? We can. Let's move a little bit to the left to make room. Another trip attack. Goodbye, Commander. 27 damage and also prone. All right. Attack again. 12 damage. Another critical hit. Lazelle is out here for blood My today. It's go time. All right, Garlic, let's bring you over here too. Let's have you jump right trick. by the commander. Yeah. Need to make sure you have your melee weapons out in the future, but here you are. A reckless attack, go in. She's dead. It's over for her. All right, let's come over here real quick. We've got, let's see, one wolf. Oh, I feel bad for you. I really, really do. I wish we didn't have to fight, but we do. Let's see, a ranged attack, hamstring shot. High chance to hit. Nine damage, good work. Okay, after that, you'll end your turn. Ooh, Lazel. Yeah, move over here. All that movement. After that, let's see. We're gonna use a cunning action to hide. We might pass a roll, who knows. Let's move over here real quick. Can we see inside? I don't believe so. Ah, shoot. No, not quite. We could use an arrow of lightning close by maybe, but no, forget it. We've done what we can for the moment. Let's end our turn. Here comes a wolf. All right, opportunity attack. 10 damage. A bite on Karlak for what? 17 damage? Whoa. Yeah, these guys hit really hard. I'm glad that we're doing fine and that we're so strong because they're pretty tough. All right, bring out your crossbow. Let's go take out that wolf. 10 damage. Another ranged attack. Go on. Seven damage. It has what left? One HP point. All right, back over to Lazel. Victory for our side again. All right, Lazel. let's loot. Any loot we're able to pick up right now. Ooh, a Soul Breaker Greatsword. I like that. A Githborn psionic weapon. When wielded by a Githyanki, this weapon deals an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage. Then, seldom caught unawares. You gain a plus 2 bonus to initiative rolls, but she's a Polar Master. Otherwise, that would be incredible. If I played a Gith, I mean, that would be a great sword. I'll think about it, but I would need to change up her entire build. Ugh, it's a really tough one. 
We're still going to take it. I'm not going to leave it. That would be crazy. All right. The wolves are gone. One true way. What else do we have in here? Let's see. Another bit of information. Taken. I'll come back later to really Take loot things. Up. But for now, we'll pick up what we have. More armor. I'll sell it. Put more over here. All right. Again, how far do we need to move? Ooh, to actually get out pretty far. Carlock needs to patch up. There we go. Maybe we'll have her take point. She hits like a truck. There's another enemy. Yeah, one guard out over there, according to the minimap. Let's hold on right over here. We'll divide up. I'm going to have her move in. Charge in, scream, swing. The Barbarian Classic. 21 damage. Attack again. He's dead. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'll take that. Thank you. I appreciate the loot. Yeah, these guys do hit hard. That's why I'm trying to be so careful. I like to play carefully if I can. Oh, here's another one. Another raider. Let's quietly sneak up. He's not turning. Good. Attack now. 46 damage. All right. Just quietly moving out. We could actually go through there instead of going through the main area. Yeah, I think we'll do that instead. There's a pathway out. There's a key too. Nice. All right. We could teleport out, but again, that feels weird. I would rather escape normally. Hey, you've got my money. You've got a lot of my money, by the way. Let's all move inside. <laughs> I'm getting my money back. Actually, let's get a little bit closer. We're allowed to. So we might as well do it. I think we're all here now. We are. Attack. It's time. Ooh, a miss. Not a good start, pal. Use your ranged attack again. 20 damage. A critical strike. Shoot again. Another 20 damage. I mean, he's got sharpshooter. If you've used Sharpshooter, you know it hurts. Wait, they're not looking at me. I mean, I'm not mad about it. Go on, Lazel. Give her the poke. She's got the poke. All right. Well, well. Back over to Karlak. Karlak, you're going to hit that one warrior. Sure. Reckless attack. Go on. Well, you didn't really need it, but took it anyway. My mistake. All right, Edrahill, you'll go after the quarter mistress. Who's got a dirty plane now? Mine's very clean, thank you very much. All right, Asterion, you're done. That warrior gets to move, but she was surprised. So no, she does not. All right, standard attack. It's over. Oh, one amulet of branding. Brand the weak. A level one transmutation spell. Expose the weak points of an enemy. They become vulnerable to bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage. Ooh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Let's see. Take twice as much damage from a certain damage type. Nice. Not to mention, we've got a little bit more loot to pick up. More great swords. And while I'm here, look. You've hurt Lazelle emotionally, so I'm going to hurt you physically, and of course take your wares. It's penance. It's a payment. It's also how we do so well. All the potions, all the help. We just take our time looting pretty much everything. Scrolls for days. I mean, if I played a wizard right now, I would have so many spells. Alright, let's move. Oh wait, no, no. We're moving over here. We're not going over to the right. They're not goblins. I'm not here to kill them all. They're not my sworn foe. Because if they were, they would all be dead by now. Maybe I would use that <laughs> artifact to blow up the entire place and just leave and be like, okay, bye. If I could. Hello, you. Hello, you. All right. We're going to use our sneak attack. Melee. Go on, Asterion. 21 damage. I like it. Another attack. Four damage. We could use a Vampire Bite. Let's do it. Bloodless. Meaning what? 
Feels a bit woozy. Minus one to attack roll, saving throws, and most ability checks. Okay, cool. Alright, they have a, what, AC of 15, a dex of 17. Yeah, they're very nimble. No wonder they get to move so quickly. Alright, Lazelle, your turn. Actually, no, that would be a waste. You know what, Karlak, you hit hard, but you've gotten to kill so many. So, I just want you to focus on another target. Go Shouldn't help out. Maybe you won't get the kill, or maybe you will. I don't know. Only eight damage. Not a lot of damage, no. All right, let's go back over to Edrahill. Take out that raider. Oh, my hand slipped. Yeah, do that. 12 damage. All right, let's see here. We've got Lazel. Lazel, you're not done. Let's have you move in. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. 11 damage. She strikes again. Another 11 damage, then a polearm clout for a bonus action. Six damage. That's why I like her being a polearm master. And she has Sentinel too. <laughs> Surprise, you can't move. Here comes Edrahill. All done. All right. Crossbow of Arcane Force. Really? Hold on. You've got a special ability. Infuse your crossbow bolts with arcane energy. Your ranged attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 force damage. A bonus action. Yeah, I mean, why not use it? It seems really good. I'll take it, of course. Alright, what do you have, warrior? Another great sword. A lot of armor. Oh yeah, I've got a lot. See? Karlak, you're gonna have to carry stuff now. And we'll come back for more loot later, like I said. I'll stop mentioning it. I always do. In case people forget or something. Alright, here's a heavy chest. Fire arrow. I mean, those are handy. Very, very handy at that. Scroll of fear. And we've got freedom. Let's get out now. It's about time to leave. Okay, our quest over here is complete. We attempted to remove our parasites using the Githyanki purification device, but it failed and almost killed us. Our parasites must be very unusual. True. And for Lazel, let's see here. Right. Lazel needs time to consider the ramifications. Understood. So we're done. We're out now. We'll go back to camp and finally rest up. We need it, I think. Let's end it. We'll go talk to Scratch first. Yeah, that's what I want to do. The dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. I'm going to wrestle the ball from him using strength. A DC of 15. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to use an elixir for that. Not right now. 20. All right. Give it here, boy. I've got it. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. All right. I'm going to pet him. I've got to. We've had a long day. Yeah, that's a good boy. And everything is okay. I suppose I could talk to him. I could use a potion. We could have a conversation. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to, let's see. Gel wants to chat, that's true. What about Lazel? I mean, she's had a day, but again, she needs time, so. We'll give her time. All right, Gel. What do you need? He's like, oh, it's all about me. I'm Gel. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I suppose it's time we dealt with the Hollyphant in the room. You have questions for me? And I promise I have answers. Sure, buddy. So tell me about that orb. Ah. Well, that's a rather long and complicated story and what one might call a wizard prodigy who from an early age could not only control the weave but compose it much like a musician or a poet such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself the lady of mysteries the goddess mistra she revealed herself to me and she became my teacher in time she became my muse 
and later even my lover. Wow, what a main character. <laughs> Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Oh yeah, that's a problem, dude. <laughs> so, how exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Let me think about it. You know what? We can go over that later. No, I'm kidding. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms, until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Wow, okay. Well, tell me the answer to that question. What was it? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods is it ever hungry. Dear God, how are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. Okay, let go. Thank you. Too much. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. 
Well, I've learned everything, really. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Fortunately, this need no longer be a concern. Not until I meet the heart of the Absolute, whatever that is. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done here. Man, Gil has a lot to say, and he'll tell you everything. Let's see, Lazel is happy. Hey, good for him. But Halson close by. I think right now we're just gonna go to bed. It's time for a good break. We've had a long one. We'll talk to more people later on. Ah, there we go. You recognize the feathered creature. It's the owlbear cup you rescued. Hey, buddy. Oh. Okay. I could give him a bit of food. Yeah, I'll do that to play it safe. Oh, he's happy, the all right. The cub's eyes lock onto the food in your hand. I could toss the food to him. I'm going to keep the food held out in front of me. Now that you've fed it, we'll never be rid of the beast. Come on, Lazel. It'll be back for more rations, mark my words. Yeah, good. I don't mind. Alright, time for me to rest real quick. We're all resting up right now. And we're gonna have a cub too, which is great. So everyone, we've got more to do. That was a good, long adventure. We've gained so much. And so, let's see. We need to go find the Night Song. We need to go to the Underdark. And we'll see what happens after that. Thank you for watching, everyone. Do leave a like and comment right down below. Also, tell me if you want me to try any other companions right now. And until then...